So today we're going to be talking about probability, which is the likelihood of something happening, whether it's uh, likely to happen or unlikely to happen. Um, so we kind of look at probability in five different ways. Um, the hardest thing would be something that is impossible. Now remember, if something is impossible, it means that it can't happen. There's absolutely no chance at all that it can happen. Um, we have some things that are unlikely. Now, if something is unlikely, it means that it probably won't happen, but it can happen. Uh, we got to think about the difference between being impossible and unlikely. Something unlikely can happen. Um, we have something called equally likely. Um, this means that the chance of something happening and not happening are exactly the same, like a flip of a coin. It's, you have the same chance of getting heads and tails. It's a 50-50 chance. Um, we have some things that are likely. This means that it's probably going to happen, but there is still a chance that it won't happen. Um, and then we have situations that are certain. Um, and if something is certain, it's the exact opposite of impossible. It means that it's definitely going to happen. There's absolutely no chance that it's not going to happen. Now, these five things uh, are all of our um, different degrees of probability. Now, we can think of these things on a number line, um, just like one that we've looked at a lot. Now, this goes, uh, this number line here goes from zero to one. Now, something that is at zero would be something that is impossible. Um, we can kind of look at that as zero out of anything. Um, I could say any fraction that is equal to zero, zero out of 10, zero out of 20, zero out of 30, zero out of 100. Um, and something that is uh, at one here is something that is certain. Um, that means that it is 100%, 100 out of 100. If you do something 100 times, it will happen 100 times. We could also just write 10 out of 10. It's the same as one whole, 100%. It's definitely going to happen. Now, if we go to the center of our number line, um, we know that that would be a half or five tenths, these are things that are equally likely. Um, that means that it's gonna happen half of the time, it's not gonna happen half of the time. Now, anything that is less, anything that is less than half, but more than zero, we usually say that that would be something that is unlikely. Now. There are different degrees of unlikely. You could be, um, for instance, if I was um, on the number line and I was right here and I was four tenths, that means I'm close to half and I'm further away from zero. That's, le that's uh, closer to being equally likely versus if I had this number, um, one hundredth, which means it's only one out of a hundred chance of happening. That's something that's very unlikely. So we have different degrees of being unlikely. Now, on the other side, we have things that are likely, and that would be anything that's better than half. Um, anything more than half going all the way up to certain would be considered likely. And just like we said with, um, with unlikely, we kind of have different degrees. If I had, uh, let's use blue here, if I had six tenths versus if I had um, 99 hundredths, that means it's going to happen 99 out of 100 times. That's almost certain. Um, so when we're thinking of um, probability, we want to think of this number line so that we can think how unlikely is something uh, to happen, how likely is something to happen. Now, one last thing I want to share is that when we're looking at a probability scenario, say uh, one tenth, remember this 10 in the bottom here? It's telling us the number of outcomes. Um, that's the total. That's the total possible things that could happen. There are 10 different things that could happen, and the number in our uh, numerator here uh, is showing us how many of those. Um, how many, what is the chance that that will happen? So if there's one out of 10, that means only one outcome out of 10 possible outcomes is the outcome that you're looking for. Um, 
So that tells you how many possibilities that there are. So when we're thinking of probability, we want to be thinking of these five, um, these five degrees of probability, and we really want to be thinking about where do those things fit on our number line.